Protests continued on the floor of the convention as chants of no more war could be heard throughout the evening. Some delegates walked off the floor of the DNC in protest. Democracy Now! was on the floor when protests began as retired four-star Marine General John Allen took the stage. Please welcome to the stage the four-star general who knows more about ISIS than anyone, the president's former special envoy to the global coalition against ISIS, retired general John Allen. I'm Norman Solomon. I'm a Bernie Sanders delegate here. I'm with the California delegation. And General John Allen, one of the top generals of the U.S. so-called War on Terror, is giving a stem winder, boilerplate, more militaristic speech. And uh, many Bernie delegates in the California delegation and elsewhere around this arena are responding by saying, we just don't want any more wars. And all this pseudo-patriotic rhetoric coming out is lethal. It's deadly. We're sick and tired of it. We're not going to give Hillary Clinton a nanosecond of political honeymoon. And that time starts right now. I tell you, without hesitation or re reservation, that Hillary Clinton will be exactly, exactly the kind of commander-in-chief America needs. I know this. My name is Shimeko Franklin, and I'm from Oakland. What I'm doing right now is an opposition to the um, attack on people of color around this globe. My name is Henry Wirth. I'm from Whittier, California. I'm, we're uh, holding the sign, so no more wars. We believe that Hillary, if elected, is going to lead us into a war. We may lose a lot of a lot of it. A lot of people of color, particularly Latino and, and, and black, that are going to be promoted in this war. You can see that this is being promoted by USA. This is a chance to lead us to war. People will be killed. Innocent people will be bombed on. Ladies and gentlemen, my mother, my hero, and our next president, Hillary Clinton. This is my fight song. Take back my life song. We're standing next to the Colorado delegation. Many of the delegates are wearing fluorescent enough is enough signs. Hillary Clinton has just walked out on the stage as hugging her daughter Chelsea. She was just introduced and the big side across the stage, stronger together, it says. My name is S. Smith. holding these signs. Every time a black person has confronted her about it, she has tossed them out and not confronted them, not addressed these issues, not addressed the injustices in the black community of sending, taking away people's fathers and mothers from these their families for drug-related offenses. The crime bill has destroyed the black community. My name is Brenda Palmer. I'm from Durham, North Carolina, and I am just over the moon. This is in my lifetime. I'm a Hillary delegate. What's my voice? This is something that children can strive to be of, of all sexes. It is, it is America, and we're so proud of this very moment. Thank you. What does, is it about Hillary Clinton that what are the issues that you feel are most important? Well, she's just focused on all that's important to America. The economy, health care for all. She wants children protected. She is um, so concerned with the military. It's those urgent matters that she really says, and she does have the experience, the most anyone has ever had. You're holding two signs. Tell me what they say, what your name is, your state, and how you're feeling right now. North Carolina. Your name? Ann Huggins. Yes. And I am, I am happy about the nominee, 
she's well qualified. I think she is the best candidate for for the United States. Yes. What is it about Hillary that you feel makes her most qualified? Well, she has been right at the forefront when she was first lady and then when she was secretary. So she already knows some of the, the issues. And, and being the first lady, she had a first-hand knowledge of what presidents uh, uh, go through. My name is Marshall Bennett. I'm from North Carolina, and I'm a Bernie delegate. Um, but I'm really excited right now. It's awesome seeing the first um, woman to be the nominee of a major party. Um, you know, I'm so happy about all that Bernie's done, and I think that Hillary's going to run with a lot of those ideas. And I'm really excited about what she's going to do in the next few months. And I really hope we can all come together and elect her in November. What are you showing us? Nothing against the flag, but this feels more and more like the RNC. One of the delegates has just shown me a picture of that was just tweeted. <coughs> Tell me what it said. This actually feels scary to me. It is feels like I don't know, like 1933 Germany or something, all this nationalism and jingoism, it's beginning to feel very scary. What does your sign say? We need to ban fracking, and I am, as of this moment, leaving the Democratic Party, and I'm going to join with Jill Stein. What is your name? My name is Victoria Barr, delegate for Colorado. What does your sign, your pen say? It says Jill Stein, not Hill. Looks like staff here is giving out signs, many signs to surround this delegation of Bernie supporters from Colorado. They may not know what they're about to do, but they're telling everyone to put up their sign. This is Hillary's moment, and we want to hear her. The party is stronger together, and we want to send that message. We, we don't want anyone at this time hindering what she's trying to do. So we're bringing, we're standing together. We're all Democrats in here, so this is time for us to unite if we want to be strong. So right now, we know that there's a protest about to go on, but we're here for Hillary, and we're going to stand for her. We're stronger together. My name is Cindy Hayward and we're stronger together. And where are you from? I'm from, well, New Jersey, but I work here in Philadelphia. Senator Coons, I am Amy Goodman from Democracy Now! I want to ask what you think of the protest while Hillary Clinton is speaking. I'm focusing on the speech, thank you. That's Senator Chris Coons of Delaware. Um, I just went up to ask what he thought of the protest right in front of him with a, a part of the Colorado delegation holding up signs that say, liar, a ban sign around the TPP, ban fracking, and no more. I'm uh, Thomas Hamrick, and I'm holding this sign for ban fracking because Hillary Clinton has spread fracking around the world, and that needs to end because our planet's dying, and we really don't have much time for my generation. And what is your name, and what sign are you holding? Um, my name is Caitlin Glidewell, and I'm holding an, a no oligarchy sign because we need to end corporate involvement making this a government of the 1% and not a government of the people. I just watched you spend almost an hour focusing on four protesters. We've been here for months. Talking to any of the 20,000 people who are excited to hear this speech, I was struck at just how narrowly you focused on just a few people, rather than the overwhelming majority of folks who were listening to what Senator Sanders said and encouraging us to focus on her message tonight. I just had a question about why you did that. No, well, I came to you and asked you. Also. And I, I am trying to focus on her speech, but you've literally been blocking my view for most of the last hour. So I just wish you'd let us focus on her. Thank you. As you hear Hillary Clinton say, she believes that Wall Street shouldn't wreck Main Street. And you're holding up a ban TPP sign. Does that satisfy you? What's your name? My name is Mark Lasser. No, she's ridiculous. 
It was her husband's administration with Robert Rubin who first removed Glass Steagall with the Graham Leach Bliley Act, and she's going to go the same way. I mean, she has no interest whatsoever in regulating derivatives, in regulating black coal trading, in regulating high frequency trading. Like, they're setting up the exact same thing for 2007 all over again, and she is absolutely in bed with those guys. What about, because of pressure from people like you, the Bernie forces, she's come out against TPP. Well, I, 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 it's insincere. I mean, someone could make up a souvenir coin talk coin for this convention that's got a Hillary Clinton someone that says yes, no on it. You could just flip it to figure out how you believe. You know, she's going to flip. We already know that Tim Kaine is not is in favor of TPP. She's called it the gold standard of trade. She published a chapter in her book about it. And then when it was politically expeditious, she removed the entire chapter from the soft cover. I mean, there's just no sincerity there whatsoever. Like, there are things she could say to make us believe that she actually does not support TPP, but so far she seems to only object to it because Bernie pushed her into the corner. Well, that's politics. If she does it for that reason, wouldn't that make you happy? Well, if it's, if it's real, you know, but like with Hillary Clinton, the issue is it's never real. She turns around and changes her mind when it becomes politically expeditious to be on the other side of the coin. You know, anything she's described in terms of her commitment to stopping TPP has been thin at best, and her record, her years of experience have shown us that it usually is insincere. She believes in science, the science of oil extraction and fracking. I mean, you know, you, what, you know they hire scientists to, to frack and, and, you know, pull oil out of the ground as well. You know, that doesn't mean it's a science that we support, you know, but science says these things are the reason for some, a lot of global climate change. And she's gone around the world promoting bad energy policy. Sir, you were upset when you saw these protesters. Can you say your name, what name state is, you're from, and tell yeah, me what My name is Herman, Herman de Castro. I'm an immigrant from Colombia, South America. I'm a citizen by choice of this country. What state? I am from Charlotte, North Carolina. Okay, and I believe that number one, you should be educated. You should be, you know, you should give everybody their. This is our convention. Most of these people never belong to the Democratic Party, including Mr. Bernie Sanders. He was a socialist independent that came to the Democratic Party because he was the only party that it would take him. He couldn't go to the Republicans. They couldn't, they would not take him, okay? So these people have to understand that if you want to change something, you have to get in and work from the inside. You cannot paint your, uh, your dining room in your house from the outside. Okay? If you want to win the, the fight, you have to step into the ring. So that's what they have to do. If they really want to help, if they really have an, all that uh, energy to give, they should go in into the respective towns and cities and counties, get signed for the party, and if they want to change it, change it from the inside. Voices from the floor of the Democratic National Convention. I was standing between the North Carolina delegation and the Colorado delegation. Some of those Colorado delegates did walk off, as did some from California. We'll be back in a minute with more on the historic nomination of Hillary Clinton. Special thanks to John Hamilton.